Hello you beautiful 99ers, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. If you're new to my channel, welcome, I am Sway to the 99. Um, I do post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesdays, we're in the kitchen making a very delicious meal using all ingredients from the 99 cent only store. And Saturdays are my store walkthroughs, product reviews, and I show you guys my haul or what's in my cart. So today, as you can see, we're in the kitchen. So I wanted to show you guys a very, very quick and delicious um, meal that I make on the go. Um, usually I make this on the weekends or if I'm just feeling like, I don't feel like cooking. So and this was actually requested by a couple of you. So thank you so much for the suggestion. I always wondered, you know, if, if uh, um, this is something that you guys wanted to see, but apparently a lot of you do. Um, and before we jump into today's video, I did want to say I do have a couple of um, back to school kids meal videos coming up. I will be um, sharing those in the upcoming weeks. I'm holding off on those just right now because I know kids are still in, you know, still out for summer. But I do have a couple of videos for you because I know a lot of you did message me. And that was definitely one of the top things that you guys wanted to see was healthy meals for kids for back to school. And I definitely have heard you, so trust me, I will be making those. I will be making a couple of them actually. Um, but again, I wanna save them at least towards the end of August and into September, so at least you guys um, are, you know, have them fresh in your mind, so. Or <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Um, all right, so for today's cooking video, it will be a very simple one. It's actually gonna be a smoothie. I will show you guys my favorite smoothie to make on the go or in it, you know, um, just a, as a quick meal. Sometimes I actually have a smoothie for dinner where I don't feel like cooking or I'm just really not too hungry. And it's also a really great way to incorporate a lot of veggies. So if you're starting to, um, you know, if you're starting to see that you're not probably gonna use up a lot of your um, your spinach or your lettuce or whatever, you know, I think this is a great way to really incorporate all of those um, greens into your smoothie. Um, so you use up a lot of what you already have and you don't end up throwing anything out. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And I will show you guys how to make my favorite smoothie. And best part of all, if you do have leftovers, so if you wanna get the kids to, um, to consume it as well, you can make it into an ice cream. So what you can do is take the um, ice cream holders that they sell at the 99 or just anywhere and fill, up, fill them up with your leftover or some of your smoothie, let it freeze and then feed it to your kids as popsicles and they won't notice the difference. And trust me, they won't notice because I've done it um, with my, um, nephews and nieces prior. Um, so anyway, let me show you the quick ingredients and let's get started. So as I mentioned, this is gonna be a really simple um, recipe um, and I do include a lot of greens. So you do see here the uh, Taylor Farms baby spinach, the baby arugula, and of course the giant bag of kale because I do love kale and this actually it's this is it's actually recommended for smoothies um, and like I've mentioned to you guys before I do love cilantro so yes I am throwing cilantro into my smoothie so there is definitely lots of greens here um, and a good way to kind of mask the green taste is of course to add a little bit of fruit so we are going to be adding some fresh strawberries uh, banana and blueberries and of course to kind of blend everything together we're going to be using the almond milk you're going to either use almond milk or just water um, and I will be throwing in some ice as well just to make it a little bit heartier but again this is kind of my go-to um, smoothie and I do like to include as many greens as I can and like I mentioned it is a good way to sort of incorporate and use up a lot of your greens um, just to make sure that they don't go bad and of course you don't want to waste anything that you buy otherwise you're you know just kind of wasting your money but anyway so let's get into the blending and give it a quick taste test so I don't know if you guys remember this ice tray from the 99 cent only store yes everything that I have for the most part comes from the 99 um, I really like it I think it was 99 cents so first we get our ice cubes in here I want to sprinkle throw in some um, milk at the base you know just to make sure you have something to um, um, just to blend the ice cubes with of course we got to sprinkle on or throw in as much um, kale as we, or actually no, this is the, I'm like, I have so many greens that I remember. This is the baby arugula. Oops, sorry, I'm blocking you guys. Then we throw in some spinach. 
And again, this is definitely one of my go-to um, smoothies. This is definitely one of my favorite things to make, especially when you're on the run or you just really want to um, just give yourself a nice boost of energy, um, especially in the weekend or, or on a Sunday night or you know just getting ready for work. And it literally takes just a couple of minutes. Cilantro, which I absolutely love. And if you guys haven't tried cilantro in your smoothies, they're actually really good because they give it a very sweet taste. Um, you would think that it'd be, it, I don't know, I don't know why I would think it'd be sour or something else, but it's actually very sweet. Um, our kale, well, you guys, this smoothie is gonna be so green, but I am so excited because I absolutely love these types of smoothies. And again, you feel so good afterwards and you just feel like, you know what? I got all my nutrients in today. So if you feel like splurging and having a little bit, if you're having a, um, having a donut or something, you certainly can because you're definitely um, getting your greens in pretty early on. All right, so we're gonna throw in some more milk. So I'm gonna blend this first and then throw in the rest so it doesn't um, get the blender all, um, I guess, stuck in there. Um, and if for anyone wondering, I know a lot of you who have seen me, who have seen my cooking videos from early on, I do have the Ninja Blender. Um, I think this was 25. My best friend actually bought it for me two years ago during Black Friday at Target. So I, I still have it, it works well. So if you guys know a lot of you are always interested in knowing the blender that I use. So this is the Ninja, so it works pretty well. So now that we have most of our greens blended in, we want to throw in our fruit, make sure we top it off and get everything all nice and mixed in. And that will definitely give this smoothie a lot more of a um, sweet taste for you guys who don't like um, the greens. Um, and of course, for your kids who won't even notice that there are tons of healthy items in here. And yes, I did just throw in the whole carton of uh, blueberries because I love blueberries. And again, you know, this is a very healthy meal, so definitely feel free to splurge and give yourself um, a few extra um, veggies or fruit. Throw in the breast. And let's keep going. big um, and there's definitely a lot in here so if again if you don't finish it you can always save some for later or freeze it or make it into an ice cream all right so let's give it a quick taste test and see what we think or what I think and then you guys can try it at home Mm. Oh my God. Ooh, yes. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. It's so good. It's As you can see, it's very hearty. Um, the only thing with my blender is that it doesn't find everything fully, but it still gets everything mixed in very well. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I know I'm, it's a smoothie, but trust me, it is so refreshing. You definitely should make this at home. And like, as, as you guys saw, it's a really simple recipe. You can throw in as many greens as you'd like and throw as much fruit as you'd like as well. Um, an alternative to milk, um, it obviously would be water or another really good way to um, kind of mask the green taste for the kids is adding pineapple water, uh, pineapple juice. 
and that stuff you just don't add too much <laughs> just a little bit enough just for sweetness and that will definitely give it a very tropical taste to it and it will definitely hide the um the greens although you can't really notice it in the smoothie that i made today but if you you know if you have um kids who are very much anti-greens um i think that would definitely be a great suggestion so and as I mentioned before, um, if you do have leftovers, so if you do want the kids to um, to have some as well, but don't want to feed it to them as a smoothie, you can certainly buy the um, ice cream containers at the 99 cent only store um, and just pour some in, freeze it, and give it to them as popsicles, and they will absolutely love it. So um, thank you again, you guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. I know this was a quick one, but I also do want to make sure that I give you guys a little bit of balance, show you guys some quick things you can do um, right as you're about to run out the door to your um, to your job or to your local 99. Um, so yeah, and like I did say, I will be bringing, uh, bringing you guys some um, cooking videos for um, back to school um, lunches for the kids. And I, so, and I also will be doing uh, a veggie burrito, which is another, another request that I got. Um, and a few others. So I thank you guys so much for all the ideas. So I'm now I'm like my head is definitely filled with some really good ideas. So thank you so much. Um, and as a quick reminder, I am doing my giveaway right now for one for my 1,000 subscriber appreciation giveaway. So if you have not yet joined or entered, rather, I will link my latest video down below. And feel free to enter. Everyone is welcome. So just check out the rules. Pretty simple. So all right, guys. I'm gonna go um, finish this up because I'm starving. So thank you so much as always. I really appreciate you guys watching. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad you're here. I will see you guys on Saturday. Have a great day. Have a great evening. And as always, don't forget to do the 99.